what is up guys i'm back with a new video in this video i'll be going over a very good blade barrage solo build for hunters um it's going to basically as you see in the clip you're going to always have your throwing lives pretty much all the time and for this i do have 100 resilience 100 discipline you can have mobility instead of um discipline if you want but i find it easier to get to to stack in discipline but um let's go straight into it also, some things you can change, but everything has to be perfect. It's just the way I like to use my, my build, but there's some things you can definitely change. So, abilities. I like to have Acrobat's Dodge. Dodge to perform an Acrobat Leap. Upon landing, make yourself and nearby allies Radiant. I love getting this Radiant, but a lot of people use um, Gambler's Dodge to get their melee back faster, which is fine. But I like just getting the Radiant buff. I use Triple Jump, and I use Knife Trick. And then, Grenade is up to you. I don't really find like Solo have really good any good grenades to be honest, but I like to use the just a normal one. Aspects, I'm going to knock him down and on your mark. And then fragments. So I've got Ember of Solus, Radiant and Restoration effects apply to you have increased duration. Ember of Beams, your solar super projectiles have super target acquisition. Ember of Blistering, defeating targets with solar ignitions grants grenade energy. Ember of Singeing, your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets. And Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks against combatants make you in the Bayala Radiant. This one's really good. Um, you can change this one here if you want. There's like one or two of these you can change. We definitely, I think you definitely want this one and this one. They're really good. And obviously you have Blade Barrage on. And onto the weapons. The main thing you really need is a weapon that does fire damage and i use the cataclysmic i don't have good rolls but um i do recommend getting using the callus mini tool i think it's probably the best weapon to go with this build i uh, say so i don't have the best roll for it but what i do have on mine is grave robber melee final blows really this weapon reload this weapon's magazine from reserve which is really good but i still would probably rather get the good roll but it's still a good roll for that specific type of uh build and then I use Arbalus, use whatever you want. And then I use Shards of Galanor. Now, let me get into everything and my, all my mods. So I use Arc for Helmet. Um, I use Hands-On, two Hands-On, so gain bonus super energy or melee kills. And you're gonna be using your throwing knives all the time. So definitely, that's why it's a no-brainer. And Seeking Wells, with how many orbs are gonna be dropping, it just makes so much sense. Next, on the Shards of Galanor, I have Impact Induction, causing damage with my leg attack, reduces your grenade cooldown. Because you know, I have 100 discipline as well, so I want to get my grenades just as back as my throwing knives. It won't be nowhere near as fast, but you know, it will help. And then I have Elemental Ordnance. I think I combat with a grenade, it spawns Elemental World, matches your subclass. So you're going to be getting a bunch of just solo um, orbs this whole time. So now we have a chest piece. Okay, so the chest piece we're going to have on it. Thermal shock plating, concussive dampener, and melee well maker. Powered melee combatants, final blows, one elemental walls, by changing your subclass, energy type. And most kills we're going to get is literally going to be with our throw knife, so it's just perfect. We're going to be getting wells all the time. For our legs, we have recuperation, and then we have innovation. You know, um, produce grenade cooldown, which I pick up on overpower. And then we have explosive well maker, rapidly defeating combatants with explosive damage, also solar elemental well. You can change this for something if you want. Um, yeah, this is this is the one where you can change. You can even put this on. Fire power, maybe. It's all up to you. And then the final one. We're gonna go two bombers and then down to full wells. Element well mods that cause you to spawn element wells can now stack spawn additional wells from each. This is really good to have, and that's literally it. This build is really good. Um, I'm not really sure if it's good for Nightfalls and stuff, but most endgame content prior to Nightfall is uh, it's, it's good for, you know, raids, dungeons, etc. So give it a go, tell me what you think, and uh, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.